What is up guys, JPR Tech here and today I'm gonna be explaining 3K mode on your Magic Lantern camera but in my case I'm gonna be focusing on the Canon EOS M so these settings might be different depending on your camera model that you're using with Magic Lantern but first things first I want to take time to show appreciation to appreciate the hard work all the developers the work the people that are in behind the scenes making this amazing software for us to use in our Canon cameras so the people over there in Magic Lantern thank you very much and also I appreciate the community as well it's an awesome community that has a lot of support between developers and users and users like yourself even enthusiasts like yourself maybe you don't have a camera yet or you're looking into getting into Magic Lantern let me just rest assure you that it's an awesome community so if you find yourself a cheapo EOSM like I did here hundred dollars then you're gonna have a lot of fun it's just an awesome camera a great community but with that said let's talk about 3k on the Canon ESM roll that intro While 3K has been available in Magic Lantern for a long time, even in the Canon EOS M, for videos it has been unusable. But as of recent, that all has changed. Magic Lantern has made 3K mode very much usable. But there are some things that we gotta keep in mind and that's what I wanted to explain in this video. And there are two particular things that we have to be careful of or when we shoot in 3K mode, we basically have to choose between between two things resolution or frame rate frames per second yeah and i'll explain what i mean so if you want to shoot in a high resolution i call it the res mode if you're one of those pixel peepers that want to squeeze out every pixel out of the sensor that you could get in the 3k mode then you will probably have to do these settings before you start recording because other than that, you won't get much record time. Yeah, if you try to shoot 24p in 3K, you probably get maybe a second or two of record time. And I'm not joking, it is that short. Now you will have to reduce your frames per second under the FPS override setting in the movie settings. And personally, if I wanna get high resolution, I'll shoot in like 23p or even as low as 22 frames per second, which actually increases my record time so much. I could get way over 30 seconds recording with in just 22 frames per second. But with that said, there's one thing you gotta be careful in shooting on force FPS, is that if you might introduce major motion blur, will introduce motion blur. So it's something to keep in mind, but if you're not shoot, if you're shooting a static object, you won't be able to tell. So feel free to squeeze out every pixel you can out of your sensor. Now the next mode that I like to shoot in 3K is called a cinematic 24P mode. I know it's not a creative name. If you want to prioritize movement and have a true 24P timeline, then that will come at a cost. You will have to lower the resolution. You will have to sacrifice pixels to get smooth footage. For example, my go-to res is 2912 by 1240. Now, I don't know if your camera settings, your Magic Lantern setting doesn't have that specific re resolution. It might be something a little different, but it doesn't matter. That's just a ballpark, basically 2.9K. So I go from 3K to 2.9K and I'm able to get pretty good record times at 3K, well, at 2.9K. 
So basically it all comes down to a creative choice. You either get high resolution at a cost of some frames per second, or you get true 24 smooth footage at the cost of some pixels, which personally you won't even notice. Like you can't tell it was 2.9K from 3K. There's just humanly impossible to be able to tell that from a screen, especially if you're watching your media from a smartphone or a tablet or a website, no one's gonna notice. So lastly, I'm just gonna leave you with a quick video that I made and uh, we'll see if lowering the resolution really matters. So check it out. So what do you guys think? That was pretty sweet, right? Not bad? Now, you might be shocked to hear that the video you just watched, it was actually recorded in the 3K mode, but at the resolution of 228.96. So it's barely under 2.9K, but it's still technically 2.9K. So 28.96 by 8.12.32 at true 24p 10 bit so yes i made the creative choice to keep the 24 frames per second at the cost of a few pixels but as you saw in the video we can't really tell the videos still have plenty of detail sharpness the colors everything was just overall great it well that's in my personal opinion but um yeah i just think it's just awesome that we have this feature in such, such a cheap, affordable camera. Now, since I started shooting with the Canon EOS M with Magic Lantern and raw videos, ever since I got into raw videos, I have really been convinced that data rate, 10 bit, and even just shooting raw, converting into DNG is way better than resolution. Yes, I gotta admit, before when I was shooting 1080p only with my A7S, I was really craving that 4K goodness that I saw on YouTube. But after getting 4K, it's sharp, it's crispy and all of that and dandy, but yeah, I still felt it was like really digital. I don't know how to explain it, put into words. I hope you're understanding what I'm trying to say. I just felt like modern cameras that are going after this uh, resolution rays just keep adding pixels and everything is looking great, sharp and all, but it doesn't feel emotional, doesn't feel organic. It, it loses a lot of that, what makes a cinematic image cinematic. You understand what I'm trying to say? I hope so, because I'm just rambling. But regardless, with, with all that said, the point is still the same. 3K mode is awesome, and we have creative choices with our camera. You could either shoot with resolution or with smooth frames per second. 
But yeah, guys, that's that's it for this tutorial. I just wanted to show you a quick explaining a little bit about the 3K mode that we have on Magic Lantern, especially with the Canon ESM. If you found this video helpful, useful, I would appreciate your thumbs up, sharing it. And also, if you have, I would love to hear your comments, your opinions on the this whole resolution issue. You know, what do you guys think? Is it really that important or is data rate and uh, compression and codec more important? Let me know in the comment section down below. And if you do have any questions, yes, I would love to read them and I love to get back to you and share what, you know, so we could help each other during in this great community that is in Magic Lantern. So again, thank you guys so much for watching and I would love to see you guys on the next one. See you.